I have come to you from Krishi Vigyan Kendra. We have an interest to know about the progressive farmers of Andaman, how they earn their livelihoods from cultivation. Let me know for how many years you have been cultivating. It was since 1968, I was a boy of 15 then. I engaged myself in agriculture from that very early years of my life. First, I made a pond. There, I kept some local varieties of fish. Behind the pond, I planted some betel nut trees and coconut trees. After that, I planned to cultivate paddy and pals in the little land left behind the pond. It clicked. I could earn a little extra amount by cultivating paddy and pals. I now went for rearing cattle. I had some cows as well. A poultry was started by one in the following years. It was like an integrated farming to me. I have got everything from here. I also reared the earthworms and thus I made a vermicompost for my own use. My main income is centred round fishery and by selling beetle nuts. It's nearly rupees 4 lakhs per year as my turnover. But agricultural activities are a little bit expensive in Andaman. I have to pay a farmer rupees 350 per day excluding of his food allowances for twice a day. The time of work is from 7 am to 4 pm. So the working hours I get is not sufficient to expand my farm. The paddy I produce cannot be sold as it only satisfies our own consumption. The expense cost is 60% in Andaman. Out of my yearly turnover of rupees 4 lakhs, rupees 2 and a half lakhs are expensed. So after toiling so hard, I can make a profit of only rupees 1 and a half lakh per year out of my agriculture. Recently, I purchased 2 and a half big of land in which I am planning to cultivate paddy and pulse. I am working on it. I am planning to cover the area with a boundary, but I do not know whether I can do it or not. I made soil for the betel nut trees. Also, I am farming ginger now. Black pepper farming is a dream to me if I get good quality of seeds. In the one and a half bigger land, I would try to cultivate paddy and vegetables. A proper drainage system has been set up in the land. I expensed rupees 60,000 for it. Now I have started vegetable cultivation. I will do something more in the future. I have never used any chemical fertilizer. I only use vermicompost. The best thing is that cardamom can be cultivated in the field of betel nuts. It is available in every two to three years. In this year, I sold 70 kg of cardamom with a rate of Rs 300 per kg.